Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the midnight prayer. Hello dear friend, may the spirit of God bless you. Wherever you are, may the light of God shine upon you, upon your ways. Now it's midnight in three minutes. Yes, midnight in three minutes. We are here with our midnight prayer. I am going to pray for you. But before, let us see the testimony of Mr. Vinod and also John and his, his entire family. Let us see what God did for them right after I will pray for you. My name is Vinod Siwalia. My family life was destroyed because... I was heavily addicted to alcohol, cigarettes, and through that, my family life was not in peace. I can remember sometimes that when I came home drunk, after drinking, after, after drinking, I came home, I used to have fights with my wife fight with her wife till it lead such a such in such a way that she got I used to take the, the plates and fling it behind her fling it throw it behind her she got caught and had was to go in the hospital I used to beat her tie her up strangle her with the pillow right because the vexation inside of me that I had was was totally was totally destroying my family life yes when he come drunk he's a quarrel fight when i cook something and he don't like it he's a throw it outside yes it, ha it had this day i came home late from work and i went to line with my friends and them he was liming and drinking i didn't cook anything for him to eat and he get vexed and he he ended up throwing tenors in my eye. And it started to burn. I feel like I was going blind. Can I see? The, I, I had a lot of anger inside me because when I came home, when I came home, it, I didn't find her home at all. Usually she came, she comes early, but on that day she didn't come and she didn't prepare nothing for me to eat. And I waited. With her anger inside me, rage inside of me. And when I saw her, we started to argue. She came home late. When I saw her, all I can find in my hand was some tenors in a bottle that I used to that I used to paint tenors. And I took it and I threw it in her eye. I splashed it. I didn't care if she got blind, if she fell on the ground, what the anger was so raging that I didn't care about anything else. I didn't care about nothing else. The anger and addiction affected my son as well because the rage built up inside of me and it affected my family life, my family life, my son. It affected him to a state that we didn't had no relationship towards each other at all. Uh, I remember that everything that I grew up seeing, it really affected my relationship with my father. Because I remember, just as it was yesterday, if I can recall, uh, I grew up seeing my mother being abused. You know, she was beaten very bad, like, you know, like a man. And because of the abuse that, you know, I, I saw my mother going through, verbal, you know, physical abuse. You know, I grew up with a lot of grudge, a lot of hate, you know, towards my dad. And we were never close. We never had a close relationship. I couldn't come to him to talk to him about anything because he himself was an angry person. We had no communication. There was a time my mom came home from work, as she was saying. 
she came home late from work and she was drinking with her friends and she didn't make anything for dad to eat and there he had the thinners he threw it she she got she almost got blind she was crying she was bawling she was screaming and it, it was not something easy for me to see growing up as a child seeing you know you have a mom that you love you care about and you know you see her growing up and being beaten like a man sometimes i used to see blood coming from her mouth i came to the church by an invitation of a, a family member my brother-in-law when i came to the church uh, i i did many chain of prayers that the pastor told me he explained to me and told me how to go about doing this chain of prayer so i did it faithfully believing and trusting in in that changes is going to take place in my life i didn't did anything for my family family life for my family but i was based in my 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 own for my own self to be to be transformed to be transformed in such a way that to get rid of this anger this hatred the the troubles the fights the arguments that takes place almost every single day so there was at a time there was a purpose for the family to place your family on the altar, to sacrifice on the altar because I heard so many testimonies about, and I heard the testimonies and I saw the testimonies of family life transformation. And the same thing I saw I wanted for myself because I saw in the testimony such peace, love, joy, happiness in the family togetherness and i wanted the same thing so i jumped in immediately into that purpose it did not take long that the altar answered me after the purpose that i did on the altar for my family i took it upon myself to invite my wife and my son. No, it didn't come one time. It took a little while, but I keep inviting them and they saw the changes in me. And they decided to come it was a Sunday. I remember that perfectly well. It was a Sunday morning, seven. And they came. They came because they wanted to see the same results because they knew how I was from before so they wanted the same thing my son wanted the same thing my wife wanted the same thing so they came they just didn't came to see they came believing that their life that they will be transformed also okay my husband no longer aggressive he don't smoke, he don't drink, he don't lie, he don't abuse me anymore, he don't quarrel, no arguments, no fight. Our life, family life is transformed, is blessed. The first thing is, I really want to thank the Lord Jesus and to thank the Universal Church as well for everything that we know today. Because through the altar, through the purpose of you know, my father on the altar today, we can say that we are at peace. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies, you heard the word, but now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer.
our Lord and our Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus. As you did in the life of Mr. Vinu, today his life, his entire family is totally transformed. He's not an a, 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 a abusive person anymore. He is, my Lord, a, a, a very good husband, a very good father. All this was possible by your power. It's like, Lord, you did another transformation as you did in the past when you changed the water into wine. The same if you did in the life of Mr. Vinod. Only you, Lord, only your power could be able to bring a such a great transformation. And it is exactly what I ask you on behalf of this person, on behalf of this man, on behalf of this woman. My Lord, I ask you for you to stop with the fight. Stop with this idea of divorce. Stop with this idea of separation. Go to live in your mother's house, in your mother's, in your family's place, and I stay by my, pla my place. My Lord, this idea is from hell to destroy this marriage, to destroy this family. And please, Lord, I ask you, let your light to shine upon this family. And bring a total transformation. Father, you can. And I call upon you right now. Help this woman. She's in tears because her husband left the house. She's crying because her relationship is not like before. My God, bring a total change, a total transformation. I call upon you now, Lord, on behalf of this family. On behalf of this child that's behind the bars. This child that's involved with criminals, with bad companies. This child that have been doing, my Lord, what's not right. Please, Father, set this family free. Set this person free. Those who are in pains, those who are sick. Those they cannot eat properly, they cannot walk properly. Lord, consecrate and bless this water. For when this person they drink from their water, Lord. Let your power to be inside of them. My Father, bless this beautiful country. Bless Trinidad. Bless Tobago. Oh, Father, bring peace. Bring prosperity. And above all, bring salvation to Trinidad and Tobago. Visit each one of, of those who watch us right now, Father. And bless the works of their hands. My God, bless our serves this Sunday when we are going to be approaching the altar to seek your Holy Spirit. My Lord, I surrender this person's life into your mighty hands and also our country in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those who believe says, Amen. Do you believe, friend? You may drink from your water and be blessed. Amen. Right there where you are, receive life, receive strength, because the Spirit of God, He is with you. Sunday, we are going to be here in our national headquarters, number 40, Salt Kia, right here in Port of Spain. 7 o'clock in the morning, our first fruit service. We are going to be seeking the Holy Spirit. We are going to be praying for the family you are our guest. And for sure, God's going to bless you and also your family. 10 o'clock, I will be together with you. And also, we have at 3 the afternoon, the addiction, cleanse, therapy. And the last service with the study about the book of Revelation at 5 p.m. with Pastor Reginaldo Philip. Okay? May the spirit of the living God bless you. Be sure of that. That God, He is with you. But you need to be with Him. That's why we are going to be waiting for you today. In a few hours, the doors of the Universal Church will be open. And a new life is waiting for you. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. See you here at the Universal Church.
another mother who's lost her child to an act of violence. Prevent yourself and anyone else in your family from being the next victim.